Once I got my bearings, I thought, oh my goodness, we just got to get out of here. And so I grabbed my dog and my purse and we took off. A fire alarm was pulled at the Sandy Pines apartment complex around 1.30 Thursday afternoon. When I got to the front door and saw how much fire there was already, I thought, oh my gosh. There were flames through the roof on the west end of the building. Uh, we immediately started calling for more help. When fire crews arrived, there were still residents inside the building. Oh, it was frightening. And then I was thinking, we have people that live here that are handicapped, that are older and can't get around so good. Our first job was to get those folks out. And we were, went down, made sure, you know, I asked a couple of the police and firemen, did everybody get out? Fortunately, there were no injuries. More than a dozen people were taken to Kalkaska Memorial Health Center, but they were treated and released. Thank God that everybody was okay. The Red Cross jumped in, helping the residents who are now out of a home. For these people, I, I feel so sorry for them because they have just lost everything. I know that there's going to be some people that are not going to have a place to stay for quite a while. Forsyth was able to get back into her waterlogged apartment to grab medications and some clothes. Putting that fire out puts water in there. The water runs through the ceiling and you know it's going to affect it's going to affect those units too. The whole thing's probably just going to have to be bulldozed.